Hello to everyone. I am here in Milan attending the European Hematology Association Congress and I am going to summarize what I presented in the symposium sponsored by Stemline Menarini about the unmet needs in relapsed refractory myeloma patients focusing on the innovation as part of the early relapses. We know that the European guidelines recently published incorporate protease inhibitors in its an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody as part of the first line of therapy. This means that at the moment of the first relapse, we have to consider patient and disease-based factors in order to make the right choice. But one of the most important drivers is the sensitivity and refractoriness to anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies and lenalidomide. If the patient is sensitive for the anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies, we have several combinations like DARA-KD, ISA-KD or DARA-PD. But the problem is for those patients already exposed to anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies, exposed and maybe refractory to lenalidomide. And in this situation that it is quite common, especially for the elderly populations coming from daratumumab in combination with lenalidomide and dexamethasone, we have something new that we can incorporate into the treatment of our patients with multiple myeloma. And I am referring to the combination based on selinexor, a sporting one inhibitor with a different mechanism of action in combination with bortezomib and dexamethasone. This combination is included in the European guidelines and the rationale is because the phase three Boston study recruited relaxed refractory myeloma patients after one to three prior lines of therapy and were randomized to receive SBD versus bortezomib and dexamethasone alone. And in this study, SBD showed significantly prolonged the progression free survival. In addition, the superiority in terms of PFS was observed across the different subgroup of patients. But I would like to focus on the specific population in which we can see XBD as an ideal combination. Elderly patients coming from Daral Index first relapse. This combination, selinexor, bortezomib, and dexamethasone, was especially effective in patients after just one prior line of therapy. And indeed, if they were naive to proteasome inhibitors, naive for bortezomib, the benefit in progression to survival was more evident. It's true that in the Boston study, the majority of the patients had not been previously exposed to daratumumab, but we have a subgroup of patients included in Boston, but also in the STOMB study, that they had received daratumumab as part of the last line of therapy, and the combinations based on selinexor showed to be effective. So this is the main rationale in order to consider selinexor in combination with bortezomib and dexamethasone as an option for patients coming from daral index. It's true that if we incorporate the novel T-cell redirecting therapies, we are going to have filtacel, BCMA CAR T, as another possibility. But we have to realize that not all patients are going to be eligible for filtacel, and indeed the filtacel is not going to be worldwide available. This is the reason why we consider that XBD is an excellent option for patients coming from Daral Index. If we move to later lines of therapy, it's true that the T-cell redirecting therapy is part of the standard of care by specific monoclonal antibodies and CAR Ts. But there are some research ongoing in order to evaluate the role of selinexor upregulating BCMA, enhancing the fitness of the T-cells, and maybe in the future we can incorporate also selinexor or selinexor-based combination as part, as complement for all these novel T-cell redirecting therapies. So, in summary, I would say that selinexor is an XPO1 inhibitor that in combination with bortezomib and dexamethasone is 
may be one of the best options for patients with relapsed refractory myeloma and especially in first relapse after daratumumab in combination with Lendex. Thank you very much for your attention.